a personality per se, I would say, has these elements of ideal and has structural elements as well, and we're going to talk about those more in the second half of the class. Structural elements can be lined up and outlined more scientifically. The second half of the class concentrates more on physiology, brain physiology, and on statistical approaches to the description of personality. Um, I suppose you might say that that outlines the territory. The course is called Personality and its Transformations because we have personalities, that's who you are now, but our personalities are also capable of transformation, of change. I mean, obviously, we think about that as learning, 